Hi, in this video we'll solve problem 3.2.7s. We will be finding the loan amount when the difference of interest paid for two different payment plans for the loan differs by a specified amount. Iggy borrows X for 10 years at an effective annual interest rate of 6%. There's two possible payment plans. If in the first plan, he pays principal and accumulated interest in one lump sum at the end of 10 years. He's going to pay 356.54 more in interest than the other plan. And that other plan is if he repaid the loan with 10 level payments at the end of each year as an annuity immediate. The goal is to calculate X, the loan amount. I think this problem is simple enough that we can do it without bothering to draw a timeline. First of all, what is the interest paid with plan one? Let's call that I1. Well, it would be the amount Iggy pays after 10 years minus the amount X that he borrowed. If it's a 6% interest rate, uh, effective annual interest rate, then the amount that he's going to pay at the end of 10 years is going to be 1.06 to the 10th power times X. And yeah, subtract X itself and there is the interest paid on plan one. Let's find 1.06 to the 10th power. It's about 1.79, let's subtract one from that. This simplifies, let me go ahead and include all the decimal places, 0.790847x. There is the amount of interest paid with plan one. What about plan two? How much interest is paid? Well, he's paying a certain amount, call it K, at the end of every year for 10 years. 10 times K then would be the total amount paid over those 10 years. Once again, subtract the loan amount X, and that's the amount of interest that is paid. Um, this thing plus 356.54 equals the first thing. Let's get this thing in terms of X though first. We need to use the fundamental fact that the present value of the loan amount, x, at time zero, is the same as the present value of the annuity immediate, the payment stream, k times a 10.06. As we've been doing recently, you should be able to figure out what this thing is with your calculator very rapidly without bothering to write down the formula. This is something you should know in your head. You've got to take i plus 1, there's 1.06, that's 1 plus i, take its reciprocal, that is v, the discount factor, raise that to the 10th power, subtract that from 1, so in this calculator, press the negative sign, then plus 1, then divide that number by the interest rate, 0 0.06. The value of a is about 7.36. Once again, I'll go ahead and write down all the decimal places. We want to ultimately substitute in for 10k here in terms of x, so let me solve this equation for k. I would divide both sides by 7.36. In other words, take its reciprocal. Get, to get this, k is 0.1358679 times x. I need 10k, so multiply this by 10. And then that would go in here, 1.35867958 times x would go there, minus x. This thing here is going to simplify to, subtract one from this, 0.35867958 times x. Don't forget about the 356.54. I need to take this thing and add the, that to to the 356.54 and then set it equal to this thing. So my equation that I want to solve ultimately is 0.7908477x equals, again, look right there, 0.35867958x uh, plus 356.54. Let me just do this with my calculator, a nice simple linear equation. I will subtract 0.35867958x from both sides. Maybe should have saved some things in my register here, but oh well. 
take 0.79 minus 0.35867958. So 0.432 times x will equal 356.54. Now just take the reciprocal of this and multiply it by 356.54. And you get about 825. And close enough that probably the in a multiple choice exam, the answer comes out exactly 825. Okay, so that problem wasn't too difficult. Um, here's, here's the problem again. See if you can solve this on your own.